hey guys welcome to this youtube channel so today we're trying to do something like a um little little, little, little. <laughs> story time i had weight loss surgery Ta -da! i don't care if that's a reaction we're getting or something else but yeah so i had the gastric sleeve on the mm, girl you were forgetful 15th of june 2020 yeah so i traveled for it i mean you could get it through the nhs for free but it's going to take a while a very long time or maybe short time if you're lucky but i didn't have that time to spare and i was getting impatient and yeah about why i decided to get it it's a whole topic on its own so that's another story for another time this particular episode i want to talk about my surgery day and uh seven days after surgery so that's like one week after surgery but i'm actually filming this when it's tomorrow makes it two weeks after surgery but i just want to talk about the first week because that's where the challenges were <coughs> so guys i traveled to turkey and it's istanbul like two days before because you know the whole coronavirus thing i had to go before so they could do the coronavirus test and yeah and they had to run a series of tests to make sure that they could give me the surgery or not it's not one of those things that you're just going to give the surgery now you go through like a lot of tests before they can say oh yeah we can give it to you and yeah you're healthy enough for it so yeah i got there two days before the room was amazing i have a video of it i'm gonna insert it and i think the name of the hospital was asos hospital yeah it was like five less than five minutes from the airport it was really close so it was pretty easy getting there it was all cool for the first two days we could not go out because of the virus they did the coronavirus test on saturday and the result came on monday morning and they said oh you're negative so we can go through with the other test for the little surgery yeah so we did the blood test the stairs test everything was fine and they said okay monday morning you're gonna get your surgery and on monday morning when the test came negative um that was the first time i got to meet the surgeon and the whole crew they're so nice guys they're so nice oh my god yeah they told me about the whole procedure and what will be happening and for those of you that don't know gastric sleeve is when you know you know the part where you when some of us no when everybody eats your stomach the one that help you little host <laughs> man this is so funny <laughs> gastric sleeve is a surgery when um part of your stomach is being cut not the you know the stomach outside the one that holds the food it's been cut like pew, so that just a little bit is left and so in such a way that when you eat few bites and you're full yeah mm -hmm. it was necessary the girl was eating a whole big plate of food and she wasn't getting full so yeah this one was necessary i'm sorry <laughs> i am uh, so ah uh, before the surgery they brought like surgery gowns i think i have some pictures i'm gonna insert them in the video brought the surgery gowns we changed and then the anesthetic blah, blah, blah. what's it called anesthetic or something blah 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 a lady that gives you the drip that makes you sleep girl you've forgotten words yeah the anesthetic team came in and then you know looked for the vein and then put in the cannula and everything and i was taken down for last test and you know what the most important part of the surgery that i was waiting for was the fact, fact that oh was the fact that i had to fight the sleep like i always say when i'm going to surgery like no i'm not gonna sleep this time around and then boof i didn't even know what happened and I remember getting up, I was very cold, like extremely cold. I felt like I was freezing and I kept calling, please, I'm cold, can I get a blanket? Please, I'm cold. But annoying thing, there were some two nurses sitting there and I don't know, maybe they didn't understand English, but no one was giving me a blanket until the 
one of the surgeons came and was like oh are you okay i said no i'm cold and he gave me a, a, a blanket and then i was taken back to my room i'm going to tell you now i can't remember how that day passed so i can't tell you really 24 hours after but i know wake i can remember waking up and i was in so much pain pain i could not turn around it was the insertion was like hurting but it's not one of those extreme pain that i can't bear it was like discomfort yeah but the good thing is i had my painkillers going in i had my fluids going in so i was fine babe i was fine <laughs> yeah so i think i slept almost the whole day but they came and woke me up and said oh no you have to take like a sip of clear water mind you i wasn't hungry the first time in my life i was not hungry i was not hungry <laughs> yeah and the amount of water i could take you know the lid of a bottle yes that little thing that was how much i could sip and i'm one of those people that i used to take i'm used to take like a 0 0.5 liter bottle and just just squeezing the whole thing into my mouth and ah, it feels so good but then i had to learn how to sip water hmm VSG. yeah and one thing that i still suffer from right now is gas pain i'm sorry everyone is different with the surgery there was this girl i met and we became friends i think i took her number but i didn't save it that's horrible right yeah i'll look for her i'm an fbi yeah we had a surgery on the same day but she's i mean up to the day when we left the surgery she had like incision pain but mine was gone while i had the gas pain and hers was gone now this is how the gas pain feels like do you know when you're hungry like when you're really hungry and you have this chest pain that feels like gastric biting coming up <gasps> yeah that is how gas pain felt like for me for me oh your own might be different <laughs> yeah that's how it felt like for me and it was horrible like the pain was a lot and it was everywhere but mind you it was a lot i could bear and yeah each time you're in pain you could always call for like oh call the nurse i wonder they can i have some painkiller please and although they don't speak english oh I, I had a translator but the nurse could understand the word painkiller and off she goes and in it comes that was it and yeah did i walk on the first day i can't remember but i can remember on the second day in the morning no i can definitely remember now in the evening i was up i could no longer sleep so they came in and they said oh i have to start my shakes tomorrow but they're going to show me how to mix it today and tell me how i can take it and yeah the dietitian did the first shakes so i had to get like lactose free milk water and the shakes they gave me everything the milk and everything and the room had a fridge oh my god the room was like a hotel i talk a lot <clears throat> i'm going to describe the room in a whole different video <laughs> and i'm just not putting in this video i don't know what i'm gonna do <laughs> yeah so she made the shakes and she gave me the shakes and i had it I tried though, I had to keep sipping. I almost finished it, but I couldn't. Mind you, it was just 200 milliliters. 200 milliliters. That was like two sips for me before the surgery. 200! <laughs> Let's go. You're so much fun. <laughs> yeah. So that was what I had that evening, and I kept trying to sip my water and. I had to go for my first walk but yeah it was just along the corridor it was quite slow and painful but they said the walking helps with the gas and mind you it actually works 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 this is the gas <laughs> yeah I went up on my walk and I still had the drain by the side of my belly coming out it's like a little tube that brings out takes out the water in your belly or something they told me that's just liquid in your belly but it's mixed with a little bit of blood so it looks red but it's not really like blood it's, no, don't be scared it's normal you're fine <laughs> yeah so 
holding it, holding my drape, walking around the corridor. It was quite nice until it became painful. I had to slow down and then stop. And I just got that the pain was just gas trying to come out. And the next day, I met my nutritionist again. And God, that lady, I think her name is Nayet. I'm going to drop her Instagram so you can follow her. She's amazing. Oh my God. If you text, I'm sure she'll reply you. Yeah. You know what she did to me and i discovered that it works amazingly like perfectly and mind you i went for the surgery on my own so i didn't have like anyone around to be like rubbing my back she started rubbing my back and i was just burning like seriously like blah 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 i felt like a new person <laughs> yeah. that was helpful guys if you're having gas pain just rub on the chest or the back i'll tap it tap 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 and it comes out very easy trust me it's easier than walking or taking painkiller mm -hmm. it is try it yeah so the next morning i took my shakes i was seeing pain but it wasn't as before but the gas pain was still there and i couldn't turn easily like to turn yeah i had to hold my belly and then turn carefully and slowly and when this side of my body is hurting i'm going to sleep on my back and when my back is boring me i'm going to turn slowly and carefully so that was my whole three days so monday tuesday wednesday so that's 15 16 17. mind you i was supposed to fly back on the 20th yeah on the 20th on the 19th no, the day before the 19th so 15 16 17 the pain was there but i met these two ladies that had the surgery before me on saturday mind you i had mine on monday and they said oh no don't worry once you take out the drain you're gonna be fine trust me when they took off i was fine i was fine i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say i know others say they're fine and no i was no i'm one of those lucky people that were actually fine when they took out the drain like it was such a weird feeling like i thought it was something short and they were pulling and pulling this rub out of my mouth i don't it felt i'm feeling myself ew. it wasn't painful for me but it was so ew. i don't know how to explain it but you get it it's like um nah there's no word for that it was just ugh. but then when it came out i felt like this air left my body and I feel so whew. the gas pain was now less like the gas could easily come out like easily burp and it wasn't that painful or I could personally just rub my chest or tap it and I'll be fine but mind you I still have chest um, gas pain up to now yeah I do I do I do 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 hey, hey, hey. this guy's mad yo <laughs> yeah I still do that so when they took it out the first day after they together i had to go to the mall but then it was raining so i went nowhere but the next day i went into istanbul and i enjoyed the town normally the the hospital driver takes you to the mall drop you and give you like two hours for you to you know shop what you want and they'll pick you back up but then i had an uncle around so i just said no you don't have to drop me and mind you they took me to a shopping center that was just like the ones we have here in the uk so uh, I couldn't be bothered, but I just told him I really want to see Istanbul, like the real one. I want to go into the market and see the things, not shopping mall. I might as well just shop in the UK, yo. Yeah, so I took the bus, I took the train, I took a taxi, I took a tram. I enjoyed it all. Trust me, it's such a beautiful town. I went shopping, but yeah, the more where I wanted to go to was close but that's all right i went to the market i couldn't have anything then except my shakes water apple juice mind you zero sh added sugar apple juice or watermelon juice freshly blended yeah just the juice and i couldn't have like citrus fruit so any other thing was oh do i have to take this do i not have to take this so i just i just stick to apple and watermelon no added sugar <laughs> i don't know yeah stay away from sugar you got me here don't take sugar don't <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah um i did some shopping came back packed my things and the next day the hospital driver took us to the airport 
and guys guess what i had a wheelchair for the first time at the airport <laughs> i think i'm gonna insert a picture of me in the wheelchair but i don't think i took a whole which yeah i took i took a selfie but that was fine it was so interesting please remember to tip the person pushing you on the wheelchair it's very important be kind yeah so we just checked in and we told them oh i was with a friend and we told them oh we just had surgery we can actually walk right now but if the queue is long standing for a very long time it's not it, it, we don't think we can do it because the energy we had was like i mean even now my little sister just needs to be like sister and then i need to run from the room to the sitting room and i'm like oh, i can't do this and i have to sit down maybe have a sip of water to catch my breath or something yeah but i don't have as much energy as i had before and the the, the lady that did the check was like yeah, yeah yeah that's fine you can just go to the assist you know, assisted check-in yeah i think that was it and we went there and then we gave our passport and the scan it and everything and then they gave us a wheelchair and the guys to push us up to the point where up to the door of the plane that was when they left us it was so nice to see someone pushing you around and you get to cut the queue <laughs> yeah i'm flying back i think i have a video when i was in the plane i'm gonna insert into the video yeah it it wasn't painful I could sit down the whole way i didn't feel sick i didn't feel sick i had my shakes before the flight so from the hospital i kept sipping because it was an early flight until just before the flight that was when i could finish the shakes yeah so i was fine all the way to the uk and i got back yeah got okay what are you saying why did you say god for goodness sake we do we have to cut the part that you make all the rubbish <laughs> okay. okay there's something i need to include there there's something i need to include there's something i need to include okay so guys when you go for the surgery the first thing to do is check everything your BMI, your body weight, your body fat, your body muscle, right leg, left leg, everything. And I think I still have my hair. Oi. Uh, hopefully it gets clear enough for you to see. Voila. So at the beginning, before the surgery, my weight was... Okay, my weight was 121 kilo grams that was my total weight before the surgery and they did the the check the day before we had to travel back so that should be like five days after or four days after and my weight before i left the hospital was 117.5 kg so i had lost like 3.5 kilos yeah that was like i was happy with it I'm cool. I was happy. I mean, my weight kept going up and up and up. It wasn't even staying like up. And the coronavirus stay at home thing just spoiled it. Was all you want to do is eat, sleep, watch movie, eat, sleep, watch movie, and yeah, it contributed a lot. Like during the whole lockdown thing, I gained like twenty kilos. Yeah, it was a simple man. Yeah, I had to do that surgery, as I said. So yeah, and. Yeah, since I came home, I think I've lost just like 0 0.5 kilos. Seriously. I don't know if it's a stall, but I don't really care about a stall. The most bad thing is I actually see my body shrinking. Like, trust me, I had a big, my belly was growing and now it's like reducing. Although the weight is not reducing, but I can feel my body reducing and all the constipation, horrible kind of feeling in your belly. I don't have them anymore. And I'm happy. I feel lighter. Is it spinning around on my bed before the surgery? Trust me, just sleeping and then I have to turn around was like work for me. Everything was work. So yeah, that was my first seven days of ESG. <laughs> it was fun. It was the fun. It was there. But I had fun traveling to another country for the first time. 
going through that experience and i'm still going through it i'm gonna keep you guys updated and i think i'm gonna put a video or a picture i don't know which one i have i'm gonna insert a picture or a video of the scars when the bandages when i had the bandage on and when i took them off so you can see what they look like i think that scar was like three days after right now i still have the scar but the wounds are healed but you know they're just there i'm trying to get rid of them yeah i'm gonna insert everything that was it for my week one guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe if you have a question for me Feel free to ask i'm gonna answer trust me i will and if you're on my page to tell me i oh, know you couldn't do some spots so you went for a surgery back and go it was so nice getting to meet you guys thank you give me back give me back my kiss give me back my kiss <laughs> okay